If you're looking for a new NBA 2K22 next gen guard build, bruh, you came to the right place. This build, as you can see, <laughs> is already going crazy. A 99 three pointer, 99 ball control. Wait, I'm guessing you thought this was a play shot. Nah, it's not. Hold on, bruh. Let me explain. 16 finishing along to go with that. So, in other words, this build can score on any level on the court and gets 109 total badges. That sounds good to y'all. Make sure to hit that like button. You know, really would appreciate it. Let's get straight to the video, though. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it, man. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy CJ, aka. Don't let me CJ. Welcome, welcome back to another video, man. Now today, bro, I got y'all with my official PS5 build. Now listen, listen, listen. Some of y'all on PS5, let me know in the comment section right now if you're on the PlayStation side of things. Matter of fact, no, no, no. Comment down below PS5 or Xbox. PS5 or Xbox. Let me know which side you're rocking with. You know what I'm saying? It's my official, the best comp point guard build on NBA 2K22 next gen. This build is way different from, you know, your traditional play shot, scoring machine, whatever it is. It's an offensive threat. This build just goes crazy. Now, I'm gonna show you guys everything. Make sure you make this build a rebirth. You know what I'm saying? Why not? It's a rebirth build. You get badges off the rip if you are able to get it. I'm gonna show you guys everything. So, you wanna go with the point guard position, left handed, or whatever hand you really want. And just a number, you wanna go 99. There's 99 problems, but scoring on you is not one of them. You understand? Oh, get him out of here! For the height, you wanna go 5'9. Listen, you can't go 5'7 or 5'8, but I feel like 5'9 is the best balance between 6 foot and 5'7. You know what I'm saying? And it'll just allow you to get 99 ball control, 99 speed, all that good stuff. I'm sure you guys exactly why I did so. For the weight, you wanna go minimum. I'm going minimum weight. You know what I'm saying? You can even go 147 if you wanna upgrade your defense to an 80. And for the wingspan, you actually want to go 5'10". Reason being is because if you're going to upgrade your ball control that high, you might as well get 99 ball control for Hall of Fame applicable. What around the block is that you can't get ripped like that, so I got to try it myself, you know what I mean? You're able to get a 99 layup, 99 three-pointer, 99 ball control, all that good stuff, all the 99s. I'm going to show you guys my version of the build. I know a lot of people like to go play shot, and that's why we're differentiating ourselves, you know what I'm saying? That's a vocab word, by the way. Driving layup, though. Driving layup, you're going to upgrade this to an 89. Why not 90? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't really know, but I think 90 light, 99 lit cuts it. 89 cuts it, you know, just as well as I wanted to. The close shot will be upgraded with the mid range as well. We're going to get to that. For the mid range shot, you want to upgrade this to a 95. 95 mid range, you know what I'm saying? This is my version of the build, by the way. You guys can change it however you want. But 95 mid range, you have 16 finishing, 16 shooting. The three pointer, you want a 99. 993 is essential because you get one, all the Hall of Fame shooting badges. And two, man, 99 three pointer, bro. Like, what more can you really ask for? You know what I'm saying? You already go it off the rip. You could really do whatever you want. And it's just, yeah, it's just really the wave, honestly. You get 39 shooting badges. And for me, when I hit level 39, I'm going to get an extra shooting badge. So I really have 46 shooting badges if I really want to. I think that's the most most ever in the game. Now you can upgrade your mid-range to a 97 to get 40 shooting badges. But I already have a plus one from last season. And I'm going to get another one this season. So I'm going to have 45 regardless. You know what I'm saying? So I'm straight. On PS5, probably going to go 40 shooting badges, though. I'll let y'all know that. Now for the pass accuracy, you can actually upgrade this to a 78. A 78, exactly. So you can get the offensive threat name. I'm pretty sure if you go any lower, it's called a shot creator for some reason and that's not nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying i ain't i seen it i want my own name ball handle you want to upgrade this to a 99 on 99 ball handle y'all see it man look at all these badges boy you get hauled from a pluckable ankle breaker hyper drive all that good stuff you know what i'm saying you really straight on the play on the you know dribbling side of things but you want to go crazy i'm just thinking about me when i'm trying to kill for a three kill for a bucket i wanted to not be able to get ripped i'm tired of getting ripped with gold unpluggable it's not working for me but a hall of fame unpluggable i heard unpluggable really got buffed this year so that's where you want to go speed with ball you upgrade this to a 98 98 speed with ball is going to give you 34 playmaking you know what i'm saying and you're going to be all good like that i think if you lower your yeah if you lower your ball control or pass accuracy by one it's going to give you 33 no scotty pippen so i'll go 34 you know what i'm saying especially because you don't have a high pass you don't have that high of a pass you want to make sure you get a good amount of play Y'all see it 16, 39, 34. That's a great bash setup already. Now for the defensive side of things, you know what I'm saying? Your best build's still able to play defense. Yes, it's not like you can't get certain badges. So I'm gonna show you guys. Perimeter defense, you want to upgrade this to a 63. 63 so you can just get the bare minimum of clamps. I don't think you need menace on this build. I'm not even gonna be rocking menace. So like I don't even think I need to upgrade it to a 64. But it's still you want to upgrade this to a 90. Now this is kind of controversial, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people like to, you know, talk about pickpocket. Personally, bro. I have Hall of Fame pickball gun on my play shot. I get like barely any steals, bro. I'm telling you, I get so many fouls. In the corner, when you're, you know, when they force a switch sometimes, pickpocket Hall of Fame would be good. But unless, until pickpocket gets buffed, until his word around the block, pickpocket got, got buffed, bro, I ain't jacking it. Really, I ain't jacking it. So I'm going with a 90 steal so I can get intercept the Hall of Fame, which is a better badge. Hustler Hall of Fame, which is a really good badge too. And Ball Stripper Bronze. So I'm straight, really. I'm really straight when it comes down to switching, you know, getting the steals that I need, all that good stuff. And I got 14 defense. Now the rest are going to go on your physicals. Speed, you can upgrade this to a 92 or 91, I think it was. 91. 
Acceleration 95, so you can get, you know what I'm saying, just just explosive moves. And then when you get gym rat, you get uh, 99 acceleration. I think acceleration is way more important than speed. Because speed is like off the ball, right? When you're Dexin, when you're running down the court to get a chase down, which I can't get chased down. So it kind of takes away my reasoning to have speed. I already have speed with ball over there. So I'm really good. I think I'm good from when it comes down to physicals. And then your stamina, you're gonna upgrade this to a 95 as well. 95 stam, and you know, you guys see, we still we actually still have upgrades. So if you want shoot, we can put one on speed, 92 speed. Actually, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end up getting a 99 acceleration off gym rat anyway. You can start off with it if you want, but I'm gonna go with 92 speed because that's something you can't really get back. And I'm gonna have a 96 at 99. I look at this thing of beauty over here. Yo, what? Why are you looking at me, bro? Over there, look. 16, 39, 34, and 14. Now, I ain't no math professor, but if you ask me to do the math on this build, that's 103 badges. 103 badges, you know what I'm saying? This build just goes crazy. Like I said, bro, this build just does what you want to do, bro. If I'm not mistaken, if you go with the 90 layup, you're called a scoring machine. And that's not, I love the scoring machine. Ain't <laughs> sure you're asking me. But I already have a scoring machine, so I want to kind of switch it up, you know what I'm saying? I want to kind of, I, I love different build names. I don't like having the same name. Everybody be having play shot, play shot, play, you know? I gotta change it up. We gotta change it up. And the rest of the points, uh, you can put it on free throw to 27. Whatever you really want to do, and y'all see 99. You guys see all the badges. Y'all see all the attributes too over there. Y'all take a screenshot if you got to, and y'all see it, man. That's the build right here. Now for the takeover, man. The takeover. Um, the takeover I'm gonna go with actually is gonna be sharpshooter. You know, both sharpshooting, spot up, and actually the takeovers I'm gonna be going with is spot up precision one and pull up precision two. Those two takeovers, man. Circus threes. I already talked about that badge. Y'all wanna you wanna see the gameplay of it? You know what I'm saying? It speaks for itself. Tick on the clock, clock right on your screen. That badge is OD. And spot up precision, pull up precision. I want to be precise, you know what I'm saying? But really, really, since I have a 99.3, bro, I might even go pull up precision first and then um, spot up precision second because I can already hit. Like, if I'm not hitting with a 99.3 without takeover, I'm, I'm uh, that's embarrassing, you know what I'm saying? But pull up precision, you want to make sure that, you know, sometimes fades are different scenarios. And hitting fades is not the easiest thing, especially when a guard's guarding you that good. So pull up precision first. I'm going to pull up precision myself because I like to fade. I like to be shot creating kind of. And then pull up spot up precision because I'm already good. I'm already good. I had a 99.3 pointer. I'm already good. I'm going to hit my shots. And I can trust my jump shot regardless, you know what I mean? And y'all see it, man. We're going to finish the build. And this build's called an offensive threat. Offensive threat, man. Now, when I come to PS5, this is going to be my build. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all right now. If y'all on PlayStation or Xbox, whatever, comment down below your name, bro. Or your gamer type. I'm trying to... I need more teammates. I need more people to run with. You know what I'm saying? Next year is not, not, not the popular move right now. And it's going to it's gonna be December. If you guys want the best badges for this build, any build, you know what I'm saying? Click this, this video right here. And if you want, you know what I'm saying? And if you want some game, more gameplay, you know what I'm saying? And more builds, click right here. Challenges, all that. Love y'all boys, man. Thank y'all so much for the support. Support. Love y'all, man. We out of here, man.